Hello, this is Jeff Goodman again, coming to you from GE Aviation's Customer Technical Education Center. I want to talk to you today about the installation of boroscope plugs for the GE NX engine. Uh, it's really quite simple. What you will need to do, of course, is to put the proper lubricant on the threads of the boroscope plug before you install it. Then we'll get it started by hand. Then we'll run it down with the wrench, 3 8 inch extension. You can hear the clicking of the locking device on there. Run it down until it stops. Let us look and make sure that our locking device is properly engaged. And then also we need to torque it to the proper amount. Make sure it doesn't come loose. And that's how simple it is. But now let's talk about some of the common problems that occur when installing the boroscope plugs on the GENX engine. Here is an assortment of boroscope plugs for the GENX. I just want you to see that they are all 3 8 inch internal wrenching and they are self-locking. You can see here that the cap and the locking device are spring-loaded. You can see how it moves up and down in there. The cap is separate from this locking device. And another problem we have is that, especially for new plugs, that they, the locking mechanism, the spring, gets jammed up in there when you remove it. Thus, the locking device won't work. So you can try putting some lubricant on them to loosen it up, just so it drops down. And we can see the teeth in there, the locking teeth. So another problem is the locking feature doesn't properly engage. So when you install it, that's why you need to look to make sure that the locking device is engaged properly. If it is not, you can simply loosen it a few turns, reinstall it, and check it again to make sure that both teeth are engaged as they should be. Then go ahead and torque. Another of the problems is that when people install them, they do not use a torque wrench and they end up over torquing them. And that is because the torque value for these plugs is actually very low. So be sure and use a torque wrench. By not using a torque wrench and torquing them to their proper low value, you could crack the cap, which could fall off at some point in the future. Also I want to show you that Three of the HPC plugs are double plugs screwing into the inner chamber and then into the outer one. Please watch this animation on the proper installation of these double plugs. Here's the outer boroscope port. Make sure that the outer boroscope port is aligned with the inner boroscope port. Always apply anti-seize compound to the inner and outer threads of the boroscope plugs. Install the inner part of the plug through the outer port and thread it into the inner port. Hand tighten the inner plug. Make sure that the inner threads are correctly mated. Torque the inner threads per the manual. Loosen and then torque the inner threads again per the manual. Now compress the spring of the outer part of the plug and hand tighten the threads into the outer case. Verify that your locking feature is engaged properly. And now torque the outer threads per the maintenance manual. So again, the installation of the boroscope plugs of the GNX are very important. Again, the four uh, possible things that you need to really watch out for is that you lubricate the threads. Don't forget to lubricate them. That could cause it to seize up make it difficult to remove in the future. Once you do remove it, make sure that your locking feature is actually sprung down, that it's not jammed up in the cap. You can lubricate that to get it done. The next one is to be sure that the teeth engage with the tab on the boroscope plug in the case. 
If not, you can loosen it and tighten it back down until it does engage properly. And the fourth item is do not over torque them. Use a torque wrench. Again, the torque value is very low for these plugs, so we must make sure that we get it right. So that's it for this maintenance minute on the GENX boroscope plugs. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.